Hey everybody, Corey Don here, just doing a quick video of running through the weekly, just trying to get to floor 3 and showing you what to do for the card back. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pick this, reroll, grab this commander, and then we'll also grab a defender. And then we will take a... Hmm. I don't think Magnus is going to have problems surviving. It's been a few days since I did this weekly, but... Alright, this, this, slow, and this. We don't need this. Do we have Battle Shot? We do not. Alright. Go through this, click this, get this. And this is going to be our general Caden plan, is the Scoundrel Pack there. Then we go Bard for the Eternal Lullaby. I think on my high score run I actually did it with a uh, Weapon Cache. Because I wanted the uh, more burst damage. So. Let's just do it like this. Wilbur is going to be more in a support role this week. Oh, actually he's going to get a lot of purple cards. Actually, I'm not going to take Librarian because I want to do something a little more consistent. Or uh, doing a, like a tutorial on how to get farther and get through the game. Alright. Go Mentalist. And reroll. I'm going to go Devotee though for the Prescription because I think Prescription is very consistent. We'll just go like that. Minus for this, Wilbur gets the Tome. Gustav gets the Mana Potion. Neglect gets Book. And then we pass on Magnus. And then I am going to take this north route, I think. Actually, north to south. And then we will uh, not take Corruptors. We're just trying to get to the third floor, even though the extra resources do help sometimes. All right, let's start off with Captain's Howl and Rage. I think we're going to throw Bolas. And probably Barricade. Keep our HP up. Alright, we just Eternal Lullaby as first turn here. Easy play. Then we can Elemental Bolt into Electricity Manual. Just Water Jet. Zap. Elemental Bolt. I don't like Nesglect. I don't think I have any AoE cards on Nesglect, but. Hmm. We won't be able to kill everything. But we can kill everything that'll do damage to us. Alright. It's a stone wall. And we'll kill it. Magnus is missing 4 HP, but he'll get that back. Alright, that Intimidate's actually kind of nice, but we'll pass on it. Alright, keep our deck small. Go Noble Shield, and then pass, pass, pass. Alright, 10 HP on everybody. It's actually going to be pretty nice. And we can also corrupt the mana potion here. And then pass. We'll go here. This one I think is going to be worth it just to grab the resources. So do take this one. Because it's not that much damage you're taking extra. We'll just go for max survivability too and just play the entrench. We start off with a eternal lullaby, we can get a free shiv, even though it's going to waste our sharpening knife. 
320 damage to everything is very nice. Alright, well, we'll clear instructions. It's a nice replenishment. Even though we lose out on the firestorm, I think the replenishment is gonna be nice. And then we can just give this to ourselves. Toss that out there. And we will just foresight. See what Magnus is gonna get. 10 HP and give. No, oh, we'll just wait. Yeah, Overcharged Monsters is kinda spook for weeklies or obelisk mode in general, so. Alright, we can uh, do a lot of chain lightnings here. We'll also give Nezlek the chain lightning too. So we'll just uh, blow the front up. We can water jet the back. First we do prescription, look for anything that gives bless. Nope. But we can chain heal and... Throw some other things out. And we can mind vision as well. Alright, we're gonna do Captain's Hell, Bluff, into a spike ball on the back one, and helping hand on Ghost Staff since he's gonna go next. We can just whispering lies, fan and knives. We can even uh, heal Magnus for five before we end, even though that was a bad idea because he has a five bite to Halley. So optimal choice would have been Nezglect, but that's fine. Take that. We'll pass on that. Pass on that. And pass on that. Even though Baptism is kind of good for the third boss, we'll go here, get this elite, and we will pass on it. And then we will go to Captain's Hell and Rage. There's some bolas. In the battle plan, we're gonna put the plastic spike bottle on top. And we'll helping hand over to Gustavo. And I'd like to do sharp combos, but internal lullaby just keeps popping up first. Maybe we will build our sharpness up. Oh, I thought that was going to be, uh... I thought that was my dig around the deck for stuff. <laughs> Let's go with that. And we don't need Song of Celerity. Alright, we can Electric Discharge, finish her off. Electricity Manual, get the back for one, and then Twin Scrolls over. One cost. And then we can play this to dodge some damage on the Frenzy Termites, even though it's not really that necessary. Alright. We can Carrot of Therapy ourselves. Magnus is reinforced, coming in great, giving him 50% resistant to physical. Alright, let's just do damage at the front. And then we'll guard on Gustav. We'll hit that. Let's bring lies. And this heals 10 HP on everybody, rather than just 6 on Magnus. But we can do both. Would you look at that? Alright, Elemental Bolt. Three instructions. Not really anything there. Alright, we can apply some sight. 
Man, this one's gonna take a little extra turn. I'm gonna take a bit of damage too. What earthquake is gonna do? Numbers. Barricade up. Fast strike, take away some thorns. Alright, sharpening knife into phantom knives. And zap. Zap. Electric discharge. I don't really need anything here. I'm going to take this Dispel on Nesglek, though. Because that could be useful. Beer Mug is tempting, but I do think it's a little bit of a trap. As you're not using that many uh, perks for getting the additional benefits. Alright, level ups. I'm just going to choose Wolf Guard. Heavy Metal. Circuit Overload. And then we're also going to go Night Tear. With the shop. I'm just going to go Consistent and go to Regular Buy. And let's see here. I like this Bass, because that's a free draw every other turn. So we're actually just going to buy that with Wilbur. We're going to buy the Veteran Armor with Nezglek to keep him alive. And then I'd rather hit this node here. And we can uh, upgrade Nez this stuff a little bit. We want the one cost expected prophecy is really good. We can upgrade. I can upgrade that yet. I'm going to upgrade the Mind Visions to do triple damage. As that is a big burst option. Our clear instructions is probably not going to do that. Shock Nova, I'm going to upgrade the, for a little bit of additional oomph. And Trench, we can upgrade it to give the Fortify, which is great. Alright, Gustav. Well, I don't need to change anything on Gustav. We can make him apply some sanity. Some insanity. And we can get another clear instructions on Wilbur. And that'll be our spending. And since we're not going for score, we're just going for the card back. We can just do regular. As hell. I will do this to draw a card. And I think we're just going to hit this one. Not sure we'll be able to kill it, but we might be able to. Oh, uh, we can do some damage. Power Slave. Annoying Whistle. And Song Quickness. Alright, Zap. Hope we draw Shock Nova. Nope. Another zap. We can do the zap again. I'm just gonna one powerful over to Gustav. And inspire over to Nezglect. Foresight. Night Terror. We're gonna take some damage here. But that'll be fine. Sleep stacks are definitely going to pile up pretty quick. Alright. So, best thing to do, I think, would be to battle plan first. Right. So this guy is heading front hero, random hero. We'll just wolf guard ourselves. Play that on Wilbur so he gets a better draw. Alright, unfortunate. They drew like everything, both sharpening knives with the hidden weapons, which is kind of bad, but. We can still weaken everything. 
Well, there should be a little Shock Nova into something. In. Or he can never draw Shock Nova. There's also a option. You see that in the back there. Let me just Firestorm. Elemental Bolt. And we can get some healing with Wilbur. Could have done that on those like two to 12 damage. Fortunately, I don't think Nezlek can kill here. I think he's gonna be one short. Let's just toss it around a few heals. Oh no, he did kill. Just lowered the uh, resistances enough with that Mind Blast. Chain of Accuracy is a great card. We'll take that. Pass, pass. Innervate looks tempting, but... No. Alright, and we'll pass here. Even though that equipment shop is probably really good. Alright. Wolf Guard. Ice HP hero, random hero. Front hero. Yeah, Wolf Guard ourselves. And we're gonna get rid of, try and get rid of Josh, because he does a battle show. And that is going to be a lot of HP for them. Alright, hidden weapons will get us a one cost sharpening knife. Do I go for more sharp, or do I just go for the damage? I think I'm going to go for more sharp. And then see if I can uh, fortune telling banish through the Stav's deck. Alright, clear instructions. Equivalent exchange. And we'll just do... We'll do a chain lightning. I haven't got to play Shock Nova once. Which is unfortunate. I don't think I've played Prescription more than once either. All right, let's go through Gustav. All right, he's starting out with uh, Heavy Metal. He's actually pretty good. Do an Expected Prophecy, there's Prescription. Uh, nothing big. I was hoping for an AoE heal. Just maybe Eternal Lullaby, so we don't even need those two. Well, we're going to get an extra energy from uh, our ability there. We'll just do Fade. A little bit of healing for everybody. Do that on Gustav. Uh, we could get Captain's Howl, so we'll just do that. Alright. And there's Captain's Howl. We'll make our damage a lot higher. Alright. Heavy Metal. Power Slave. Chain of Accuracy. This would be doing a lot more damage if I was actually level 3, but... It's still building up sharp, so the next turn we can make them all explode. Alright, so we're gonna overload. We'll just bass ourselves. Yeah, we want to kill Josh, so... Before he gets a turn. So that's just going to be a priority. We'll transmission over the Nezglect. And we will start out doing this from stealth. Fantasy over to Wilbur and banish over to ourselves and pass. Healed quite a bit. Lizard's gonna be dead from the lightning. Did we get Fan Knives? No. Yeah, we can just throw some heals around. I 
Damage electric discharge to electricity manual to electric discharge. Alright, Mind Blast. Foresight. He's still got courage, so he's still gonna... Do a little bit of annoying stuff. Still gonna go or be pretty healthy going into the boss fight. Also, dang, that buffer gets really annoying with overcharged monsters. Alright. Is that. Oh, could have used Bass, but we're about to heal anyways. Alright, we're gonna pass. We're gonna take this camouflage, I think, for more stealth. Pass and pass. Alright. I'm gonna put this on Neslect over the Prophet Staff for the extra two charges. I'm gonna put the Heavy Belt on Wilbur for more survivability, Jade Ring on Gustav, and then pass on Magnus. That small weapon pouch actually might be interesting on Gustav. Alright. If you're healthy, like only missing 10 on everybody, you can just go for this option and remove a card. Otherwise, you can just rest up before the boss. So we'll go ahead and remove some cards that we don't want. We can get rid of the friend. We can get rid of one of the sweet melodies. We said his deck is getting kind of big, so we'll want to trim that down. Book of Nightmares, we're never going to play. And Vitalize, we can toss out. Alright, let's go ahead and get our level 3 power spike. Through Defense Mastery. Shrill Tone is going to be massive damage increase. We'll take Ag Arc is going to be a massive damage increase. And Mind Devourer is going to be... Actually, no, we won't Resourceful to apply Sight to enemies. We'll pass. Actually, just going to type that up in Discord quick since somebody was asking why or why they're having troubles so i'll just go with the level up choices one the back arc and uh, all right so we'll go with captain's hell and rage even though it causes us to bleed we'll put this on uh wilbur actually because uh, Wilbur could use some more draw. Everything's already slowed, so I think I'm just going to build up my sharp this turn and hopefully pop off next turn. Oh yeah, we get uh, Shock Nova to start. I'm going to buff up Wilbur some more. We'll do that. Electricity manual into Shock Nova again. Just to discount it for later. Yeah, that was totally my intention. I didn't mess up. Alright, we'll banish. So we'll get rid of Song of Celerity, Song of Quickness. And we're going to be drawing both Sharp and Knives, which is unfortunate. And we'll have eight mana to work with. So I think I get rid of this Wicked Craftsman. We'll go fortune telling just to give him more draw. And since we can play this for free because of resourceful up here, we'll just go ahead and play it and get rid of the bleed. And that puts eight sight on everybody. Well, we're in a bit of a precarious spot with that four mark. Alright, we'll just guard, and wolf guard, and battle plan. Put the two defense cards on top. She's gonna hit the lowest HP hero. Alright, so heavy metal first, into power slave, into sharpening knife, sharpening knife, 
Fan of Knives is now doing 70 to everything. We can also throw a shiv. And we don't have any cards we can bring out with hidden weapons. Alright, Wilbur's at the lowest HP, so if we can find his mirror images, it's not there, but we can maybe get it from a clear instructions. Alright, we can't. And I probably should have played Circuit Overload first. Oh, maybe we can find it from this clear instructions. Yep, there we go. That will actually save Wilbur some uh, HP there. Actually gonna save Wilbur a lot of HP. There we go. He took nothing from the hunt. And then we can go ahead and prescription. Desperate prayer. We can make a Magnus go before her. Hit her with that. Hit her with another Mind Blast. We'll do a Fade to do the skill and put some uh, Sight on her. And 55 damage. We might be able to throw Bolas if we draw right. Or no wait, throw Bolas is in Discard Pile. But we can Entrench. And do Barricade. I think she's Stealth this turn. Yeah. But stealth doesn't hide you from Phantom Knives. So we'll just go with that. Alright, we'll go in Rage. I think Mana Gem is going to be fine. And then Pass Pass. Adrenaline on Gustav would have been great. Alright, Endless Bag. So I think I'm going to take the Orb of Storms here. If we trim Gustav's deck down to cost even less, Endless Bag is going to be kind of nice. But, hmm. Wilbur's running out of cards every turn almost, though. So we're actually going to restart. And although Orb of Storms is extremely good... I am making myself uh, contradict myself over and over. Actually, really tough choices here. Actually, we'll go Endless Bag on Nezvelect. He's got a lot of cheap stuff, and then we can Orb of Storms there. Those Magnus, Life Essence, in case we ever get a uh, thing, and then we can play Berserker Claw here. It's for the all damage or for the slash damage plus three. And then we will go for I think we want HP and damage. Usually I go speed, but I think I'm confident on speed. Then here we're just gonna thin out the decks so with by removing cards. Get rid of the spike ball. Toss out Blur. Also toss out probably Swung Quickness. We'll toss out Firestorm since it's pretty expensive. And I think we'll toss out... Oh, we can't toss out anything else. That's fine. I think I'm just going to maybe toss out the Scry. Even though it's a free card, and free cards are good when you have the uh, thing. But we're going to go up and hit this shop. We can also hit the extra nodes by going this way too. So yeah, let's set up that way. Although this meditate would be great if you're going for score. We're just going to go regular since we're just going for the card back. Alright. Enrage. Bluff. And put this back on top so we can use it next turn. Maybe I'll play that on Wilbur again. Yeah. If I play this out better, I kind of wanted Wilbur to go before Gustav. So we can get more buffs going. Alright, let's do Saw Blade. 
into camo, into a free saw blade, and we'll hit the one in the back. And then we'll just wait. Alright. So, we'll intellect there. Free instructions. Do I want librarian, librarian, or librarian? We'll take another scroll for intellect for free, and we'll put that one on the intellect. Zap. Elemental bolt. I don't think we electricity manual. I think we just wait. Alright, we can uh, banish. We can really set Gustav up here. Get rid of his high cost card. Fortunately, hidden weapons is below or under the sharpening knives. Get rid of those. Uh, could use the Howl on Magnus, which he's going to grab, so that's fine there. And we can just uh, do some abilities. We'll just Panacea ourselves. Oh, we can Fanaticism and get our card draw. And we've already used Resourceful three times, so no need to fade. Unfortunately, Magnus got that. I should have actually seen with sight that I could have prevented that. Hidden Weapons isn't actually going to draw me anything. But we can uh, get our Sharp up to the 20s. Uh, I didn't have any fast, so that didn't really do anything to us. Right, we do get circuit overload, which is fantastic. We just do a mana surge. And pass. Right, we get Night Terror, Encryption, Sacred Ceremony boosts us all up to nearly max health. So we're going to Prescription one more time, just because that's another skill. Alright, we'll bless ourselves and do these two attacks, which I don't think will be enough, but... Should still be good. Everybody's going to be on big health. We actually remove this guy's, uh, because this purges before it does damage, we'll actually do damage to him. We could actually increase the damage if we remembered to enrage first. But we should be getting Fanonize. Yep. Fanonize. Oh, hidden weapons. Fanonize. The Shiv. And two Saw Blade. Huh. That evasion can be super annoying. See if, uh, or I can see why people would be having trouble if that's the. Overshared monsters is something you have to deal with this week. I'll pass on everything. And then we'll get this uh, altar. Just use it regularly. I don't think there's much we want to change. We want to make this free and on self. I think is the biggest change we want to make. That we can make these targeted. Electric Discharge giving you an Energize want to be the worst idea in the world. But we'll make this cost one. Make this go up to eight cards, because that increases consistency quite a bit. We'll go to spell three here. I think that's about all I want to do. Adrenaline could have been good if I changed it to that one. Oh, we can make the Mind Blast Burn so we get Prescription more. And we'll go here and just do a regular fight. Alright, Enrage. Trench. Enrage again. Bluff. I think we Wolf Guard and Guard. Alright, 
Here, we'll just do Wicked Craftsman and do a Sharpening Knife. That's pretty much Sharpening Knife is the only thing you want to pull from that card. We're doing Adrenaline into Camo. And Stealth at the end so they can't steal our stuff. Alright, we'll go ahead and clear instructions. We'll go with the replenishment. And go for uh beef it up Gustav. Alright. This is actually going to be an amazing turn for Gustav. So who has the most resist to mental and physical? She's just into the mental, but she's going to die by the physical damage that Gustav is going to pull out. Actually going to get rid of this 5 cost, I think. Or no. If I do it like this, hidden weapons, I think we'll pull out. Okay, he's getting 2 inspire. So he goes to here, and then hidden weapons can pull out the sharpening knife. So we'll keep it like that. And curative therapy, foresight, prescription, work of life just to apply some regeneration, and pass. Ten sight on everything's not bad. Here right, we get Captain's Hell. We don't want to do this on uh, Gustav because that'll mess up our plans. We can't throw bolos. We'll just do it to the back. All right. So I could do this right now for 50 to everything, but we are going to uh, set ourselves up a bit with chain of accuracy, power slave. We could do Phantom Knives into Eternal Lullaby, which I think is better than just throwing a sharpening knife. Yep, and that clears the, <laughs> that fight out. You don't need to do it as optimally to get those results, but it's always feel good to do it. Alright, All Seeing Amulet is amazing on Gusta, or Nezblect. Go ahead and advance Handbook over to... Magnus. And I'm actually going to have Red Steel Cloak just for the extra survivability on Gustav. Then we're going to get our level 4s. Valiant Defender. Encore. I think I'm going to go Transcribe just because gaining 2 Inspire is really nice. And then this one is going to be Chosen 1. We're going to go here and click. And that uh, handbook already paying off with the battle plan. But first we'll draw into battle plan. Actually we'll draw guard so we can dig further. Yep, here's Valiant Defender. Then we can put two guard cards on top. Get an Inspire. Lower everything's resistances. Lowering everything by 20 resist is amazing. Alright, so this one will be Power Slave. Sharpening Knife. Adrenaline and camo. Really good turn for Wilbur, actually. Just do this. I think I'm just going to play the five energy. And they're going to be taking a lot. I'll go ahead and put that on her for the minus 20 resist since she's super lightning resistant. Go ahead and banish over to Gustav, get rid of the two high cost big cards. Oh, we'll get rid of Eternal Lullabies. No, we won't. We're going to have a lot of energy to work with, so we'll get rid of the Annoying Whistle. Apply that buffer to Magnus. And then we can expect a Prophecy. Might be able to kill something here with a Fade into Mind Vision. We don't even need to fade. So it's going to do the most. You're going to smell us. So. 
I think I just do this and then the lightning will damage will still go off. And it's gonna cause a little bit of a chain reaction there. But yeah, I went for him because he was going to purge Magnus's armor. Alright. We can just turn a lullaby from stealth. Oh, not as good as a return I thought it would be. Alright, we don't want another eternal lullaby, just one's enough. And we'll pass on everything here. Open apparel could be useful. Alright. I think one of these events is blobs. And blobs is actually really good. I think it's this one. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and grab this elemental blobs. And Wilbur can get the electric blob, lava blob, and water blob kind of cancel each other out, so do keep that in mind. So I'm not going to take the water blob. So I'm going to just go for the icy splash here and the lava splash here because I want the powerful on these steps. All resistance is plus 10 is quite amazing though. Why is the water blob, which is arguably one of the best blobs, when you're playing adventure. Give you 10 resistances, that's crazy. But we'll take that extra fire damage. Even though things are immune to fire, so we probably should have got it. Alright, just do another regular fight. Alright, Captain's Hell. Defend. Rage. Alright, we got all our draws out. I'm just gonna do that on Gustav this time. And I'm going to save energy. Because this guy can eat thorns. Alright. So we can chain of accuracy. Power slave. Shiv. Go into stealth and then throw knives. And that's a good chunk of health off of them already. And we get an opening hand uh, shock nova. Go clear instructions. I can actually do a mass and viz. So we can uh, buff up Nez. Hit that. Fuck Nova. Then we're gonna mass and viz. And Nez is just gonna pass his turn. Since we're all invisible, we're gonna make them waste a few cards. Yeah, see, this guy didn't get a turn since we're all invisible. I doubt this guy gets a turn either, except for summoning a blob. And now we can break out of the stealth. And play a few defense cards. Alright, we can play Enrage into Foot of Arms. This more Inspire. Alright. So I think play here is just Eternal Lullaby out of stealth. And weapons. Shit, we already played. Yeah, he went from 18 to 34, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, plus 16. Orb of Storms is insane. And then we'll just do it like that. Alright, we'll go for a third Enrage. This could actually be interesting, because it's pretty much... Uh, Another Phantom Knives, but we'll pass on that. We will get this Master Spell, though. Alright, don't need any of this, I believe. Wilbur can take a 5 Resistance Ring. Just so he's all geared up. We'll go... Don't need anything. Right here. Alright, Valiant Defender, Coat of Arms, Rage, Barricade, and Thousand Needles. Pass around the Inspire. 
because we want to play as many defensive cards, so random heroes get inspired. All right. Let's see what we get with Gustav. Hmm. I think we set up ours. Our uh, sharpness. Only enough isn't that much. That first turn. Lover is not very much better. I think I'll take that two mana for eight HP. Zap, zap. Go one like your images. I think this is gonna lose all his armor, isn't he? Nope. It was risky. He might have. All right, chosen one. Actually, very amazing. Not very amazing because this guy's gonna dispel it all, but. That'll be after. Oh, he's not dispelling this turn. We'll go ahead and do that. Spell ourselves. Fix the prophecy. And get out these two spells. Alright, we'll banish over to Gustav. Get rid of the big card. Get rid of another big card. Get rid of therapy. Foresight. And we can one-shot this guy. And I think we will do that. Because he's going to make our curses or our auras like really bad. We like our auras the way they are. Alright. Get those defend cards in. It's Captain's Hell. Guard. Battle plan. I have four. So. I think we just bolas for the extra damage rather than getting one inspire. All right, heavy metal. And we're going to power slave since we got, I thought I had encore running. What was I thinking? I lied to myself. But we can uh, juice up our sharp and throw some stuff too. And then we can electricity manual back out the uh, shock nova for even more brokenness. You know, once you get those blobs, the team's pretty much in an unstoppable state. We'll just go ahead and rest for the heals and fight Tula. This guy you do need to be careful for because he can transfer debuffs. All right, we'll go with Wilbur. And entrench and pass. All right, we do get an encore. We start off with a sharpening knife as well. So encore camo. Don't play this even though you have the mana too, because you want to save. Alright, he stole my fortify. Oh that web weaver is a pain. Luckily we can uh shock Nova. Alright, we'll do this on Nez, just to start out. Do a Shock Nova, Zap, and then we'll wait. Hoping to draw Master Spell. So we're gonna actually dig for the Master Spell here. Right there it is. Because by digging for this Master Spell, we can make everybody get their turns. We're gonna dispel Nez. Master spell. Night Terror on the boss. And then like Foresight. Mind Blast. And then we'll save. Alright. Yeah, if you don't get that Master spell, she's gonna cocoon one of your characters and it's not gonna be a fun time. Wow, look at that, Magnus. Rolling three cards. 
Alright, we'll do the Captain's Hell. And then spread out some Inspire. Alright, get those two, and we'll Wolfguard ourselves. Alright, since the first card we cast is... We're gonna get back for free. I'm thinking Eternal Lullaby. We can Chain of Accuracy, Sharpening Knife, Eternal Lullaby again. And that does a healthy amount of damage. You need to be careful about this guy living. Oh, we do get Circuit Overload. Which is fantastic. And I think we're going to transcribe so we can get more clear instructions. Corrupt and Replenishment. And we can take the equivalent exchange so we can spend all our energy that we don't spend. On a card. We'll just go ahead and do that. And equivalent exchange back there. And Nez is going to have 10 mana to work with. Which he can pop off with the prescription, chosen one, all that. We'll go ahead and fortune telling after Gustav. I'm actually going to keep that sweet melody. And uh, toss that adrenaline. I think I'm going to play two cards, and then this might actually kill Tula. It gets close. If I played that a little better, I probably could have. But yeah, she's at negative 51% damage done. And everybody's kind of hurting from the lightning bolts. And we can have a really strong Gustav turn here with the heavy metal power slave. It's going to showcase more, but she just up and died. Alright. I want that. Never ending story is actually pretty amusing. We're gonna take that. And I think a second master spell is not gonna hurt either. And we'll go ahead and pass on this. Mountain King on Magnus, so we can get through his stuff. Sapphire Ring, I'm not sure if. I think we put this on Wilbur. Yeah. Nez, I kind of like that Endless Bag, but... When he heals a hero, he's also applying two Bless, so I think I'll go for that. And then, uh, it's a pass on Gustav, unless... Yeah, it's a pass on Gustav. But that should be your card back, but let's go ahead and keep going through the video to finish this. Alright, we'll go for Tireless. Wide Sleeves is definitely the choice. Quantum Reactor is what I prefer for the extra spark. Energizer is probably better, though. So, if you want to do that. Then Omniscient is definitely great for this site build. Alright, go ahead and go here. We'll just remove two cards. Gustav, you can get rid of your two bigger spell casts. Wilbur, you can toss a water jet. Magnus, you can get rid of a fast strike. And a thousand needles. Nez. Get rid of the curative therapy since it costs an extra. 11 sight from foresight. I think I'm gonna get rid of fade. And we're just gonna go up here. Even though fade was doing work with uh, when we combined it with mind visions. Right. Interesting draw. So get rid of all our draw first before we go into the battle plan. All right, but that now the battle plan comes out. We'll put those two on top. We don't need Wolfguard at this moment. And then we will uh, Helping Hand Wilbur. 
Alright, how's Gustav doing? Alright, heavy metal. Sharpening knife. Look for more sharpening knives, which we did not get. We do that, and then we... Look for another sharpening knife. There we go. Sharpening knife. Camo. You'll be better next turn. Ow. Yeah, that's the danger of having stealth on a character is... It can focus your other characters pretty badly. Alright, he's immune to shock. So, let's not... I think we just do this. Alright, Lava Bomb resist minus 25%. And he spreads the lava bomb to another hero. Alright. So let's set up Gustav. Gustav's gonna have a never-ending story next turn. So let's set up for that. Alright. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. We can do 75 damage to him. Our lies ourselves. Oh, we don't have uh, the bag anymore. That was a mistake. Ooh, that's actually a little bit ouch. But Goose has about the never ending story from stealth. Or do we build up more. I think we build up more sharp, to be honest. Alright, we didn't get any value out of hidden weapons, but that's fine. Let me just go ahead and max that out. Corrupted Blade. Shiv into another Corrupted Blade. This guy's gonna do a lot of damage to Gusta, or not, he's gonna do a lot of bleed. And apply a lot of uh, status effects. Alright. Let's heal up, uh, Gustav a bit. Or, uh, Nez. I'll be the powerful for the 10% healing. I don't want to kill the thing in the back. Or the thing in the front. Alright. We good enough. Fortune telling will make sure we get out the panacea. And we can also make sure we get a... Uh, yeah, this works. Chosen one as well. And by doing this, we're also applying a lot of uh, sight and insanity. So we get another 37 from that. Alright. Yeah, I think getting the golden bill was a mistake, so... Don't pick the golden bell if you're there. I think I'm going to pass on the last reward, as good as it is. Go ahead and pick the Titanfall. Pass. And pass. All well, the Sanctuary is almost always good. Bastion... I like where Magnus is at now with the extra draw, and I think he's survivable enough. And I think this is actually better than the all-seeing amulet, so we'll pass that out. It's better in some cases, and the... hmm, actually tough to say. I'll have to do the numbers. Because resourceful, when he plays a skill, is getting plus two. But then, uh, all right, bluff. We'll do the Captain's Hell, lower their resistances. Alright, Rage, Guard, Coat of Arms. Do we want to slow anything down? Sure. 35 damage, 35 damage. Alright. Hit Heavy Metal, but can't really do anything with it. Unless we wanted to double our uh, 
Knowing Whistle. Oh, we do get Circuit Overload and a bunch of energy to play with. We're just going to do this and uh, Double Shock Nova. And set up Gustav for next turn. Alright, we'll do Chosen One. See what everything's doing. Front hero, all heroes. Reduce aura charges. Don't like that. We do get our uh, mind visions, which is the way to save us from that. Yeah, 333. This upgrade of mind visions is pretty bonkers. I'll go ahead and just delete that. Although the plus two insane charges on the other amulet I think was better. Now that I look at it. Because we're barely applying any insane now. Heck, you learn something new every video. Alright. Go ahead and pass. Pass. Rain of Arrows is kind of tempting, but we got Never Ending Story. Pass, pass. Oh, uh, Retaliator, we can play that on Magnus. Fountain Pen, all heroes gain Inspire is kind of... I think I'm going to totally nerf Nez, just so everybody can get plus two Inspire. I'm going to upgrade the Red Steel Cloak. Alright, go ahead and just rest. And we'll go fight the final boss. Well, that water is a little scary. Alright, so Bluff first. Fall by Enrage. Oh, we get to lower the resistances a little bit. And then we will put that on Wilbur. We'll guard herself. And defend twice. Alright, Wicked Craftsman. Get the sharpening knife always. Actually gonna stealth and then pop out. And then we wait. Uh, we get a pretty exciting first turn here with Circuit Overload. So, let's give that to Nez. If not field, will actually be a pretty big boon. Alright, we could Replenishment, or we could just do Shock Nova. I think we're gonna Replenishment. And then wait. All right, there's our master spell. Or one of them. Set up Gustav. All right. I want a big heavy metal turn. We're gonna crank his uh, stuff up really high. Mental Blast, Night Terror, yeah. Didn't get our Prescription. I think that Prescription would have been much better if I had my Endless Bag, which I thought I still did, but I went for the... Yeah. Totally messed up Nez's Adult, so don't do that. Alright, so we can Valiant Defender, Enrage, Battle Plan. Alright, we will replay everything because of Mountain King. We'll go ahead and put that on Nez and Trench. And then we can Hammer Fall. We'll do this.
Alright, we can double power slave. Alright. Another chain of accuracy. Sharpening knife. Dig for another sharpening knife. There it is. And now we can stealth the never ending story. <laughs> and that did a good amount of damage. This guy's gonna deep dive though. Which is fine. We'll just kill the dot the boss head. Pass. Alright, we can get out prescription. No, we can't. I have failed in my prescription, uh, something. Alright, there. Under full sight. I was gonna go to town on him. Alright. We need to shackle because they don't have feet. Alright. Sharpening knife. Shiv. Into a fan of knives. Yep, that is the challenge done. Very low score since I didn't pick up any corruptors, but just wanted to show you guys how to get through this weekly. And thank you for watching. Hope this helps and hope you guys get your Tula card back here. Alright, y'all have a good day, night, evening, whatever. Be good. Goodbye.